Hi, my name is Chris Hart. I'm a cartoonist, and uh, I've been getting requests on my Facebook fan page and uh, my website, www.chrishartbooks.com, uh, for some tips on shading. So we're going to start off with this basic head. And here, as you can see, is the, the light source. Now, there's probably ambient light coming from here, maybe a window, but suppose the sun is on this side. That's what we're supposing. Uh, how do we shade this guy? Well, instead of thinking of shading, think of light you're going to cast a shadow where the, the, where the light doesn't fall. So if the light's coming this way, this nose is protruding, See, sticks out. So it's got to have a shadow cast in this direction. So we'll add a little shading here, first of all. We'll add a little bit of the side shading. But not all the way across because the cheek protrudes a little bit. So it always catches a little bit of light on the cheek. This falls into heavier shadow. And let's see, what else? On, under here, a little deeper shadow. And look, it's, it's coming down this way, the light, so this will fall into shadow too. Now, because the light is overhead, things that protrude have a shadow. And some things that protrude are the nose, so we're going to shade underneath it a little bit. And on the upper lip, just here, because there's shadow this way. The upper lip is completely in shadow. And under the bottom lip, the bottom lip protrudes. A little more shadow like so, and under the chin, a tiny bit of soft shading here. Okay, now we're going to fill in those pupils, and this is going to be probably a surprise for you. We're going to shade under the eyelids themselves. A little bit of shadow forms because the eyelids act like a roof, and that casts a little bit of a shadow. So you see, it looks a little more lifelike that way. Lightly here, lightly here a little darker just under the eyelids where that shadow is. A little darker right under here. Now, the light still is coming over and being blocked by this eyebrow. Maybe not as much as this far eyebrow, so we'll, we'll give him a little more, a little lengthier shadow, but a little bit here, for sure, a little bit. A little bit of shadow here, because the light's coming this way, and a little bit off the chin. It helps to define the roundness here of the chin, just softly. This ear falls in some shadow. This neck muscle shaded. This Adam's apple is shaded. Side of the head also falls in some shadow. And along the cheek line and the muscles of the face. Now we have to add a little bit here just to help define the picture. And also because there will be some shadow on the other side. It's not completely immune to shadow the muscles of the mouth. A little shadow here because it, it's uh, further away from the light. And a little shadow here. Also, uh, round this off here, make it look rounder. Shadow's coming this way, but we'll, we'll kind of gradate it here. Because this is, this is a plane, this is a side plane of the face. See, the face isn't just flat, it curves off. And so we want to kind of gently suggest that to the viewer. Well, there's some very basic principles of adding shading and something you can do now hopefully a little more easily because it should be a logical progression. Well, I hope you enjoyed that and I look forward to seeing you again soon on my other videos. Bye-bye.